Good morning, everyone. Here we go. We're finally going to do a soap making video. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it from the camera because the battery is giving me issues. Um, but I'm going to try and go ahead and do this as quick as possible. Um, so hopefully I don't have to divide this into two videos, but I might. Um, I just want to show you guys what I've set up so far. Um, over here I've got my where my dirty dishes are going to go with vinegar and water. Vinegar neutralizes any kind of lye reaction. Um, I've got my cold water bath over here. I've got my lye ready to go. I am getting ready to go with measuring out the water. I've already gotten the calculations from my lye calculator that I need 2.3 ounces of lye and 6.1 ounces of water. Um, I've got my pan ready to go, set up with parchment paper. Over here I've got um, 12 and a half ounces of soybean oil, six ounces of olive oil, an ounce of coffee and an ounce of honey. Um, over here where I'm gonna heat up the oils, I've got my thermometer ready to go and the pan ready to go. Um, and so let's go, we're gonna do this. Okay, so I've got long sleeve shirt on, long pants, um, sneakers, my goggles, and my gloves. Sometimes people will also use um, a mask, um, but I tend not to use one. I know not to go anywhere close to where the lye is once it gets mixed. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the water. <clears throat> so here we've got the filtered water. I've already zeroed out the scale. So we are going to go ahead and measure 6.1 ounces. Now I'm going to do a little tiny bit of rounding um, because the scale measures in fourths. So we need 6.1. Actually, it measures out in eighths. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go down to an eighth. And see right there, it's measuring between an, there's an eighth, but then it keeps going up to a quarter. So we don't want a quarter. Definitely want like an eighth. So I'm going to measure out a little bit. And there we go, six and an eighth. So that's going to be my water. Okay. We always want to mix lye to the water. We do not want to mix water to the lye. So now I'm going to set my um, water over here on the side. Here's my little dish for measuring out the lye. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the scale. Make sure it's zeroing out. Okay. Now I want to make sure that I do this far away from me. Very carefully open, always pointing away from you. We're going to need 2.3 ounces of lye. Should be the last recipe that I'm able to get out of this bottle. So here's two, an eighth. Three eighths. That's exactly where I'm going to go up to. Close that up. Now I'm going to take this, put it completely away from me. Until I can wrap it up later. Okay. So now we're going to move the scale away from me. I'm going to go ahead and pull the cold water bath over here. I'm actually going to do this over here and just turn you guys. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put the water over here on the corner. Okay. We're going to slowly start adding the lye to the water. Make sure that you're watching out for any kind of fumes that start coming up from it. Get it all out. Automatically, this goes into our vinegar water. Okay? Slowly take our mixing spoon. Start mixing the crystals in the water. You will see that fumes start to rise. It starts to get very hot, and I'm getting very far away from it, letting the fumes go on that side. Nice and slow, making sure all the crystals are dissolving. Okay. 
once I feel like all the crystals feel like they're dissolved, this goes right into my vinegar water bath. This goes right into our cold water bath. Make sure it sinks down nicely. Now, this is the tricky part because, as you can see, it depends on how much water you put in there. This will kind of float around. So just make sure that it's nice and stable. You don't want it falling over and tipping into your water. It might have actually been a little bit too much water that I put in there, but that's okay. It's, it's stable. I'm going to take my thermometer, try and put my thermometer in here. And we can see that it is going up to, it's already at 120. So carefully let that stay in there, monitor the temperature. I'm going to go ahead and start heating up my oils. at the stove, heating up the oils. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to come over and check the temperature. Beautiful. The temperature of the lye did not get very hot because I let it actually um, get down to Put it right into the ice water bath so it only got up to a hundred which is perfect we only need to let our now i'm washing off the tip of this thermometer in the vinegar water now because it's already down to a hundred i don't need to heat the oils up very much So I'm going to go ahead and to not let this cool anymore, I'm going to go ahead and take it out, leave it here on the side. And I'm going to come over and, um, now I've actually noticed that some lye crystals have fallen on on the um, tablecloth. So that's gonna be something I'm gonna need to be careful with later to make sure that I wrap this up very carefully and this is gonna go into the wash. This isn't gonna be used for anything else that's on this tablecloth. Um, so that's gonna be something I have to be very careful with to make sure. That's why I always put down a tablecloth. So now I'm over here and I'm gonna be measuring my oil or taking temperature of my oils. And if it goes up over the 130 mark, I'm gonna turn this right off. We want to get this down pretty much it's in the same temperature range as as the lye so we're going to go ahead and now take this here it goes into our mixing bowl we are always going to be putting the lye water to the oils Sure, we get that all out now that was very quick with heating up the oils because these were already liquid oils so they didn't need very much heating up okay and then we're going to take our lye water very gently very slowly pour in the lye water sure we get that all out and this goes automatically into the vinegar bath. Okay. All right, now our water with the ice, just to be on the safe side, also goes right in 